Not happening. Back at the clinic, the docs turn their attention to the Canada goose with the broken leg. But this goose... Bad goose. ...is not interested in cooperating. I am not going down as the vet who lost a finger to a goose. So we've gone out and picked up this goose with the broken leg, and we brought him back to the clinic. So we're going to do a, a physical exam, some x-rays, and see exactly what's going on with this goose's leg. He got a nice break. Ooh. It's actually fractured right through. The docs discover the leg appears to have been broken for at least two weeks. Yep. But it's been a while, though. You see, it's trying yeah, it's to get a callus. callus on the end. And put a splint on that thing, man. So we look at the x-ray, and we see that this is not a new break. It's been going on a while. The body has started to heal itself. So at this point, our best option is we splint it for a while. We try to reduce it back to as close to normal as we can, bone to normal bone, and to bridge those things and heal them together. All right, bro. All right, give him a little happy juice. No. Oh, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't need you doing all that. So to get this guy down, because he's really, really fractious, we have to give him something I call the happy juice, or basically anesthesia, to kind of relax him. Should be down in a minute. Meantime, see if I can get the... Uh, rehab? See if I can get the rehab on the phone. So after we place this splint on this goose's leg, it's going to be very, very important that we keep it in a very, very still place so that this leg can heal. And fortunately, we have a great rehabber. All right, we'll get him a little gas here. Night, night, bud. Dr. Ferguson fashions a splint out of gauze and self-adhesive tape to stabilize the leg, while Dr. Hodges monitors the goose's vitals. Let's turn him down just a little bit. What's going on? Heartbeat's a little slow. Let's get a little, a little deep. And make sure you got your palpebral reflexes. Birds are very, very difficult on anesthesia. So you really want to make sure that this goose has what we call a palpebral reflex, and that's blinking. Because even though we're breathing, we want to make sure this goose doesn't get too deep. So as I'm kind of checking, I've noticed that the reflexes aren't quite there, and start to try to get this goose up a little bit. But I'm just going to use the beak to stimulate. Come on, bud. I want that blink. All right, All right I go bit. reflex. Yeah. Now I want you to bite. Now I want you to bite. But, ah, there we go. Now we're hey, blinking. Hey. hey, there we go. All right. Now we're waking up the duck. Now we touch, and you got a blink reflex. Birds can get a little stressed out on anesthesia, but this bird getting a little deep really stressed me out. All right. We got a place to take him, so he got a good place to rehab. Good. So we found a rehabber who knows exactly what they're doing. So they'll make sure the, the splint is changed, make sure we're on the right diet, make sure it's not going to get wet, the bandage. But my main concern is, is the bone going to mend together? Now we're just going to depend on time if this thing heals up or not. 